Sketch a graph of a function f that satisfies the following conditions. The limit as x approaches 1 from the left of f of x is negative 2. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x is positive 2. f of 1 is 1. The limit as x approaches negative 2 of f of x is 1, and f of negative 2 is undefined. Here's a set of axes, and we can tackle these conditions in any order. So I recommend starting with this one right here because this is the easiest one. f of 1 is 1. That's just a point that we can plot. So here's 1, 1, 1. That's this point right here, so we know for sure that that's on the graph. Now let's look at some of these limits. The limit as x approaches 1 from the left is negative 2. So here's 1, and we're coming from the left, so over here, and we want it to be negative 2. So I'm going to put an open circle right here and a little bit of a line because I know it's coming from the left and it's going to end right there. And maybe I'll fill that circle in later, maybe not. We'll look at the conditions. I can see probably not because I already have a dot up here. So I probably will leave that as an open circle, but we'll come back to that. Okay, so I took care of that one. Now the next one, the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x is positive 2. So here is 1 on the x-axis, and I'm approaching from the right, so from this direction, and I want it to be positive 2. So I'm going to put an open circle right here and a little bit of a line to indicate that's coming from the right. All right, that takes care of that condition. And how about this one? The limit as x approaches negative 2 is 1. Okay, so here's negative 2. And so as we approach negative 2 from either direction, it should be 1. So I'm going to put an open circle and then lines from both directions because I know we're going to approach that from both directions. So that takes care of that condition. And then the last one just says that f of negative 2 is undefined. That means I'm not going to plot any other point here at negative 2. I'm going to leave it as an open circle. So that takes care of that. Now I just need to connect the parts of the graph. So Let's see, this part needs to eventually make its way down here to this. And this part here, that can kind of go wherever. I'll let it go off over there. And this part here can kind of go off wherever. I'll let it go down there. And there we go. That's my graph.